Welcome back to Hit Stick Football, the channel that cuts through the noise to give you the real deal on all things NFL. Today, we're diving deep into the Indianapolis Colts offseason moves with a master strokes that will set them up for success or missteps that will keep them spinning their wheels. We're breaking it all down, so if you're ready for some no holds barred analysis, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and let's get into it. The Colts have made some bold moves this offseason, aiming to flip the script after a disappointing 2023. Joe Flacco was brought in on a one-year deal following a standout season where he was named the 2023 Comeback Player of the Year and led the Browns to the playoffs. His veteran presence is expected to provide crucial mentorship for Anthony Richardson, their young star quarterback. With the 15th overall pick in the first round, the Colts drafted Latu a highly touted edge rusher. Latu's explosive speed and knack for getting to the quarterback make him a key piece in revitalizing the Colts pass rush. In the second round, with the 52nd overall pick, the Colts selected Adonai Mitchell, a dynamic wide receiver known for his ability to make big plays. Mitchell is expected to bring a new dimension to the Colts offense, giving Richardson another reliable target downfield. To further strengthen their roster, the Colts added Matt Goncavs and Tanner Bortolini to their offensive line, signaling a commitment to protecting Richardson and enhancing both their run and pass game. And let's not forget, rumors are swirling that Leonard Fournette could join the Colts, adding depth and experience to their backfield behind Jonathan Taylor. If this move happens, it could significantly boost the team's ground game options heading into the season. These acquisitions show a clear strategy. Mix veteran experience with young talent to create a balanced and competitive team. Let's see if it works. But every action has a reaction. And the Colts roster moves have left some gaps. Gardner Minshew has departed for the Raiders, thinning the quarterback options behind Richardson. We're not too concerned here. Zach Moss, after his best season yet, signed with the Bengals, leaving a significant void in the running back rotation. In a move that has raised some eyebrows, the Colts released three of the draft picks during roster cutdowns, continuing a trend from last season when they released a fifth round pick before the season even started. These departures and roster changes highlight the Colts' willingness to make tough decisions as they refine their roster for the upcoming season. So. What's the bigger picture here? How do these moves fit into the Colts' overall strategy? Joe Flacco's role goes beyond being a backup. His experience is seen as essential for helping develop Richardson and ensuring stability at the quarterback position. Drafting Layatu Latu, 15th overall, and Adonai Mitchell, 52nd overall, demonstrates a clear focus on adding impactful playmakers on both sides of the ball. Latu is expected to immediately boost the defense, while Mitchell adds a new threat to the passing game. The additions of Matt Gonsavs and Tanner Bordellini to the offensive line further underscore the Colts' commitment to building a strong foundation for their offense. The Colts are clearly not afraid to make bold moves, but only time will tell if these decisions pay off. Now, let's turn to the experts. What's the consensus on the Colts' offseason? Pro Football Focus praises the Colts' draft strategy, especially the focus on strengthening the offensive and defensive lines, which they see as, as essential for the team's future success. Sporting News has called out the Colts for their pragmatic approach, emphasizing that while they didn't make any splashy moves, their decisions to draft Latu and Mitchell were sound, aiming to address specific needs and set up a strong core. Bleacher Report highlights the surprising release of draft picks as a sign of the Colts' willingness to make bold, unconventional choices to perfect their roster. While opinions vary, one thing is clear. The Colts are taking a calculated approach to rebuild and compete. And here's our bold prediction for the 2024 Colts. We're forecasting an 8-9 and nine finish, just missing the playoffs. They've made some strong moves, but there are still too many question marks to confidently predict the playoff run. However, with their young talent and a few breaks going their way, this team could be one to watch in the next couple of years. What's your take on the Colts offseason? Are they setting the stage for future success or are they just rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell for more unfiltered NFL takes. Thanks for watching Hit Stick Football.